Hey, this is Christina with leadsandleverage.com. And today it's gonna be, um, I'm gonna be a little blunt and I'm gonna be a little bit um, kind of hard nosed and some of you aren't gonna like it. So um, I'm okay with that. So here's the thing. I got this um, statement from somebody and I just, I, I just, yeah. So um, first of all, it's basically, I'm too busy to be on Facebook. It's just wasted time. So my first thought is, okay, huh, um, do you actually believe that or is this really true? So, and actually the, the thing is, is this person really believed it, but when the person was actually um, narrowed down and we started narrowing down where this idea came from, came to realize that they were just parroting what they'd heard and they weren't really busy. So here's the deal with this. If you're so busy that you don't have time to be on Facebook, you better be w busy sitting at the closing table, closing deals. Um, that That's really that simple. If you're not closing the number of deals that you wanna close, then you're not too busy to be on Facebook. So, but we can take, take a bit, you, you gotta go deeper with this, obviously. What are you spending your time doing? Are you spending your time chasing after, um, I don't know, paperwork? Are you spending your time uh, at all kinds of events, ch chatting with people, um, trying to be out where everybody is all the time. Are you spending your time watching TV shows? Um, are you spending your time in more trainings than you actually are in time implementing? Um, are you, I mean, really, let's get real here about what you're spending your time on. When you're at the office, what are you doing? Are you standing around the water cooler talking with people or do you have a driven line by line? This is what I'm going to do from this time to this time, lead generation focus time. I bet you don't. And that's not a, most agents don't. So that's not a, you know, you don't, that's a, most of us don't. Um, we, most of us kind of, we hop from deal to deal. We hop from lead to lead. We don't have a strategy. We don't have a focus. So here's the deal. If you're too busy to spend time on Facebook, either the time it, it, it's, it's, you're spending all kinds of time doing crap, nothing, or you have a really phenomenal business and you don't really want to drive any leads from Facebook. But the other thing is maybe it's because when you go on space, Facebook, you waste time. You sit around and scroll through the feed. You let yourself get waylaid off into other things. You spend time in real estate focus group, jibber jabbering, which is, I mean, all of those are wasted time. If you're going to go on Facebook, you're going to do it strategically. If you're not going to have a business page, you're going to strategically use your personal profile to stay connected with people who are likely to use your services, the people that you know, to be your sphere, your sphere and your referrals. You're going to focus on that. You're going to wish them happy birthday on their birthdays. You're going to wish them happy anniversary on their anniversaries. Congratulate them on their babies and um, um, graduations and all that stuff. Um, you're going to leverage your time that's involved in volunteering and leverage your time that's involved in chamber groups and networking groups by being on Facebook and connecting with those people on Facebook and engaging with them. You're going to leverage your time rather than waste your time. But if you find yourself wasting your time or saying that I'm too busy to do this, you really need to analyze what you're too busy doing because Facebook, even if you don't use business pages, which business pages, the whole point of them is to scale your unmet, to grow and expand your business. But your personal profile, your personal profile is incredibly powerful for increasing your relationship, deepening your relationship with your sphere and building that referral business. So if you're too busy to deepen a relationship with your sphere and, and grow your referral business, then you read, you need to reevaluate what you're doing, how you're spending your time. Um, are you spending a lot of time doing planning and not implementing? That's really, usually that's what I see. I see agents wasting time fooling around on Facebook. I see them wasting time, uh, you know, watching a lot of TV shows, not actually working, you know, their eight hours or whatever it is a week, not actually working when they're working. Um, a lot of, uh, office water cooler time, things like that. So you really need to evaluate this because Facebook is single-handedly the best place to leverage your time if you actually use it in a strategic manner. So hopefully that helped and hey, I hope I didn't piss too many people off today. Um, anyway, this is Christina with leadsandleverage.com. If you have any other questions or statements or whatever about Facebook for real estate, come over and join us at the Facebook for real estate agents group. That's where I am. That's where there's a couple thousand people over there and it's there's no spam in this group. It's awesome. So it's really focused on lead generating on Facebook. Thanks so much for your time and have a great day.